It's a brand new day. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Jill. You're here at the Road Report where we're talking about a population that's getting older, a world that's getting colder, and what I believe the answer is to be bolder. And on today's Road Report, we're talking about food and getting older, a possible coming ice age, and how it's time to start thinking about food a little bit differently. So before we begin, we're gonna bring ourselves, get us back into the center, deep breath, four in, hold four, exhale four, and see you on the other side. So I wanted to talk about food a little bit differently today. And you know, what we're doing here is just a little time each morning to kind of get centered, really focus, who do we want to be? What do we want to think about? What is our way forward in all these changes that are coming to us both personally and around us? How do we make sense of it and be part of it in a productive way? And that, my friends, was the key word right there. So I wanted to talk about producing, versus consuming. <laughs> if you know anything about American culture, we've stopped being producers, we've moved into consumers, and our focus, especially around food, is anything but what it's really meant for, which is energy, it's nutrition, so the body can regenerate and uh, heal, and it's also survival. Without food, we die. But what do we really do with food? We talk about how it tastes, we want it to make us feel good, we use it as an emotional tool, we use it as a weapon, we use it as something that is supposed to be part of you know, a mindful practice where you just savor and you concentrate on the food. I'm gonna tell you something, those people have never been really, really hungry. And something that I've learned in this fabulous experience is I've had a few times where I have not had access to food, either I can't get there or I didn't have enough money to get there. And so I've been kinda of hungry a little bit on this journey and it has really clarified for me how distorted our relationship is with food and how we're so focused on maybe this one specific food, if I can get it imported from you know some island on the other side of the world and that will be my health reviving food that will keep me alive or whatever. But the point being <laughs> is that that is not practical. And one of the big changes that may be coming our way is we're only gonna be able to eat what's locally produced. And we may only be able to eat what we can produce, which is why I believe in communities. But we have shifted from a producer to a consumer mentality. And it is not serving us in our health. It's not serving us financially. We in America only spend about 6% of our uh, income on food. If we start to see food shortages, we're going to see prices go through the roof. But what most people don't understand is 25% was about the norm to spend on food. You get to 50%, you're back in Egypt, and you've got a riot. And we're used to having store shelves full of food. What else people don't know? A lot of that food, 30-40% is being imported from overseas. We're importing a tremendous amount of food out of the country and other countries are coming into America buying our land and our food production facilities to feed them. Did you know China only has 11% of its land is able to produce food? They have a lot of people and only 11% of their land produces food. Last I heard they own in America 25% of the hog production facilities. So. We've never really experienced hunger since the Great Depression, and for most of us, that's a memory that we're not connected to. But anybody who's actually been hungry could care less about savoring the moment of food. And I will tell you, nothing tastes better than when you're really hungry and you get to eat enough to take the edge off. So today, it's just a, t a day to think about producing versus consuming and some reality checks around that, and maybe to start thinking about it a little differently as we move forward in this rapidly changing world. So before we go, I just wanna say thank you for subscribing to these road reports and for watching them. 
These reports aren't meant to light the world on fire. They're really helping me focus and find my place. And I really believe in being active in the change process and not staying in the facts and the fears. We make more of our decisions based on our fear, never on fact. But nothing really matters until you take practical steps. And I believe it's what we do every single day, 24 hours at a time, that creates not just our health, but our community and our world. That's why we talk about these very basic things. So we're gonna take one more deep breath for the road as I hope you will rise with the sun in your eyes, love in your heart, feet planted firmly on the ground as together we walk on survival road one day at a time. Live free, die wild my friend. I'll see you next time.